Welcome back, guys. Episode 3, continuing from here. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Wayne. Welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Uh, Harvey? Uh, back here, Bruce. Uh, take a seat. I'll be right out. Oh, come on, not today. Stop, stop, stop. God, you have to stop. You, uh, you need some help back there? Uh, no, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Well, that's, that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, Bruce, I've been looking forward to this my entire career. The day Harvey Dent takes his official portrait as mayor of Gotham. And he looks like this. I'm glad you survived the trip up here, Bruce. You want to tell me what's going on? I didn't keep you waiting that long, did I? Look, don't freak out, but I think the children of Arkham are listening in on you. You're in danger. They could have tabs on everything that goes on in this office. Who you're talking to, where you're going, everything. Damn it! God, I knew it. I knew it had to be true. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. Damn it! Those children of ours can jump me. God, it's only getting worse. It's out of control. Stop it! This can't continue. What are you gonna do to stop him? Not enough. Never enough. Harvey Dent does everything by the book, to the letter of the law. But that isn't working. I'm sure it is. He's turning things around. Barely. Slowly. I'd like to see you do better. Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Harvey, snap out of it. We all need to snap out of it! Sorry. S sorry about that, Bruce. I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor, your secret's safe with me, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. Interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? And I gave her Montoya's name after Falcone was shot. She might be willing to trade. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss 
Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I don't know if you have some... connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So... What are you going to do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you.
Everything's dark, quiet. It's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. The officer that was taken from the construction site, shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. He was shot dead center, twice, executed. I suppose they no longer had need of a hostage. This man's veins, they look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here, no entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. to know what they're going to do with the drug, exactly how they're planning on releasing it. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. Hmm, this doesn't add up. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it.
doesn't add up. alter the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. It's all here. Okay, you two! Get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobb. I surrender. Take me instead, and let her go. Now oh, screw this. I'm not that sort of damsel. Train's ready! Come on!
You do a lot of talking. Not sure you can back it up. Try me. Go on. Show me how you save your precious city. Just like the other mod. <laughs> Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. 
I was there, tracking the children of Arkham, and I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. <sighs> I'm sorry I messed things up for you back there. I know. I'm used to it anyway. There's no such thing as a fresh start. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see? I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times, but you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. What? Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. <laughs> For what? Some shiny new toys and a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... Nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. I think the place has... charm. <laughs> What's charming about it? The leak in the ceiling or the dirty underwear on the floor? It's not what I meant. Hmm. This is nice. Did you mean to say that out loud? Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Hey there. 
I'm starving. Yeah, me too. Great. Go make me something while you're at it. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything. Before you think about putting it in your mouth. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that... Certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around, if she's trustworthy. Yeah, um... That's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Ah. Harvey. Hey. I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. I spent the night here. That's it. You... You... I can't believe this! Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? None of this is about you, Harvey. It's... I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I believe Selina asked you to leave. Not that easy. Leaving. Harvey couldn't get me to do it either. Going anywhere! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This. This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey. Yeah. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. 
who am I? All right, fine. You want to fight? Let's go. Good. Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't, they turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You <sighs> need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. Who are you talking about? There's no one else here. No, it's, it's no one. It's just me. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. I think maybe you're right. There's nothing we can do for him now. Let me call someone. I'll... I'll go. I know I messed it all up. You don't have to... Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. You're just gonna take off. Where will you go? I don't know. Not a lot of apartments in Gotham with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. That means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. <sighs> Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. Maybe you're right. This could be my chance to expose Oswald for who he really is. Let Gotham know he's a part of the children of Arkham. Exactly. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute.
I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. I haven't had a say in any of this, and you expect me to cooperate? I won't do it. This is about more than just your ego, Bruce. It's in everyone's best interest for you to gracefully step down. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance. Oh, don't worry, Oz. I'll make sure you remember every moment. Meaning? That's enough, both of you. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Technology Me, and taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear heart. Not even close. We have no one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd almost be sad if you were so bloody handsome. The children of Arkham handed you this coup, Oswald. You didn't earn any of it. Who cares? It never really matters how a king comes to sit on his throne, Bruce. The only thing that matters is that it's his bum warm in the chair. This is just the first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What the Waynes built would not have been possible without the Cobblepots, Oswald. I suppose you deserve it as much as I do. Bloody right, I do. Glad you're coming around to my way of thinking. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed. That's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. Now you'll never know what part your mum played in it. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. I've been asked here today to lie to you, to regurgitate a script prepared by the company, all to hide the fact that I have been forced out. But I won't do that. I will not lie to save face. One moment, folks. Try that again, and I'll call security. My father wasn't the only one involved in this corruption. Mayor Hill and Carmine Falcone it was a system designed for their gain. Dodging the blame? Is it gonna do you any good, mate? Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, 
The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. It's not an easy thing, seeing something you've come to have as part of your identity. Dropped your pen. That's not... I should know. I'm sure some of you remember the former beauty of Cosmo You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. How could you? Retribution, Bruce. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? Well then, looks like we just finished episode three, and my god, that joint was crazy! I, I'm sorry, I had to, I had to mute my microphone for the entire video because I was just laughing a storm during that entire Selena scene. I just couldn't help it; it was hilarious. <laughs> now let's take a look at our percentages. Um, only 42% chose to back up Harvey. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess we didn't really want to kick his ass too, too bad. But, you know, we'll get him later, so it's no big deal. Batman's going to take care of it. Did you ask Lucius to stay with you? <sighs> wow, what a bunch of pussies. I would have kept... Keep him here. Keep him with me. Fuck my enterprise. Hell yeah. What 10.4% bullshit, man? You better... Come on. What kind of faggotry is that nonsense? You better stay the night with that girl. You know she wants it. Oh man, I took it easy on him. I could have beat him up, but there's no point to hurt my shoulder a little bit more and then have that on top of the conscience of having beat up Harvey Dent. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. Yeah, looks like that's it guys. I hope you all enjoyed and let's go on to the uh, next time on and I'll see you guys next time. Deuces! After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. you can do.